Hello and welcome. In today's video, we are going to build an Acroa AI agents using Lemus 3 and Grok. Grok currently is the fastest API provider for large language model. We are going to use the Lemus 3 7B, which you can select it from over here. And if you want to get your API key for free, you just have to head to console.grok.com and head to API keys and create your own API or delete your already one that you have also i wanted to check on the prices very quickly because i'm working on a project that might be using abi for large language model and as you can see the prices for 1 million input and output token for the lmm 37b model is about 18 cents that's very nice actually for 1 million token input output yeah it's very decent also they have 87b 24 cent and uh, AB actually 10 cents. Wow, and gamma whisper large that that's actually very decent prices, reasonable prices for the amazing speed that it have. Anyway, let's take a look to our code. The first thing that I'm going to do is install Lacro AI and it stores that the go for search. You can use whatever what you want, and of course, you crew AI. I'm setting the group Q, uh, the group EBI key over here. Creating a function that I learned from Sam on YouTube about how you can print and the process of it inside the text over here is good for looking out what's happening in the background. Anyway, we are setting the group LM. We're using language chain group providing the EBI and the model that we are using. You can switch the model, but that is the best model for Lama 3 and it's have amazing results also. Here we have the setup, the start, the, uh, the models that I'm going to use and set him up the tool because DuckDuckGo search tools for some reason, if you use the one in language chain, it will give you an error. So I had to write it like this to create basically a custom tool for the agent to be used. This agent actually is the same agent that I used in the last Creo AI video, it's senior search analysis and the tech writer. Basically, we are going to use him to create an app post, black like post about the AI advancements. So the first agent, uh, the first agent is a senior search analysis. It's it, the, the, I'm gonna give it the tools, which basically is search. Its task will be searching the web for the task that we are wanted to create the content about. You give it the role, the goal, the backstory, and set the verbose for true if you wanted to see what's going on. And delegation is false. The large language model that we have is the grok. Basically, that's it. Second agent will be the writer. So the description of it is a little bit different. Tech content strategist. The goal is craft a compelling content for on tech advancement. The backstory, you are a known content strategist, known for your insightful and engaging article basically it's a prompt and the role and the goal for each agent we don't give it access to any tools it will take that the search from the first agent and work with it the first task will be searching the web for the advancement in ai 2024 you can search this you can switch this to anything you want i actually can make something for linkedin posts like basically search for a certain task and create a post about it that would be cool also second task will be taking the first output from the agent and create the post about it basically the expected output of this fault block post was at least for paragraph but i think you can bump this number up then you create the crew give it the agents with the searcher and the writer then the tasks which the first one and second one, each one assigned to a certain agent and we're both set to true to see a lot of information. And finally, we set up set step callback. Basically, this will print out the entire log inside this text that I show you in a minute ago. Well, if you scroll down over here, you can see the agent finished and the output of the blog over here. So after that, we go kick off. And here, here is the fun part, honestly, because the speed of Grok is insanely good. 
I mean, the search part is the slowing one. And as you can see, I don't get any errors from DuckDuckGo because if I use the Langchain DuckDuckGo, I will get error. That's why I advise that you use the tool of Pro AI instead of the Langchain tools. So here it starts out. I need to start by getting a general overview of the last advancement in 2024. And here he starts search. That is AI advancement in 2024. After that, he get the results. So I need to dive deeper. So basically another search, multimodal AI, a step forward in general AI for Azura Open Service, GPT-4. Basically, this is the new news of the gpt 40 which basically and the AI from her. Then I thought I now know the final answer. And the final answer is this. This, when the final agent, the first agent finished his job, basically, as you can see, finish change. And the senior search analyst task output, that's it. So the second agent will start work right now. As you can see, I now can give a great answer, final answer. The AI revolution unleashed to the power of multimodal intelligence. It's talking about what happened few days ago about, about GPT-4 from OpenAI and what it can do basically and fin finish the chain this is the second agent as you can see the second agent like basically it didn't take a lot of time if you run this like I'm gonna show you the speed of running this stuff one second so let's run this again this is the Grok ABI key input here it's searching the search is a little bit slower than the output. As you will see the output right now, it's blazing fast. As you can see here, the second output is already printed out. Like the, this is how sp the speed of Grok is amazing. Like it's, it's just one second, it printed out the first agent output and completely jumped to the second one and give me the result of the final answer basically so this is why grok is amazing so that's it for this video i'm gonna leave you the code in the description so please take a look at it and i am not gonna leave the api key as i did in the last crew ai video which was a mistake on my part someone mentioned it thank you thank you to him so that's it for the video thank you for watching please subscribe hit the like for this video if you like it and see you in another video.